My name is Geoffrey. I served as a knight under Roger de Montgomery, the great lord who kept William the Conqueror's English borders safe. 1066, King William's great invasion, but royal power ended at Shrewsbury, leaving Wales free. Between England and Wales lay the march. Wales, beyond the march, was a mix of minor princes and some larger kingdoms, all tending to squabble amongst themselves. One of these, Dehubarth, was a tempting prize. Good land, rich estates, and a gateway to Ireland. Roger de Montgomery was a strong lord, and King William needed such men on his western borders. He called them his marcher lords, gave them powers no other lord could hope for, and rewarded them with great estates in England and Normandy. But Dehubarth could not be touched. Its king, <laughs> Rhys ap Tudor, was under William's protection. But then, King Rhys ap Tudor died <laughs> at long last, killed in a spring skirmish at Brecon, and that changed everything. Before the year was out, we had marched across Wales and carved out a great new estate from Dehubarth. It was centred on a little fort, just a wall of logs and earth, but an amazing sight for defence. Lord Roger died within months of taking this land, leaving two sons. Robert, as the older brother, became Earl of Shrewsbury. Robert was so cruel, we called him the Devil. Arnulf inherited Pembroke. Things went badly for de Montgomery soon after. The second King William got killed whilst hunting. <laughs> Accident or assassination, who knows? And then there was a fierce fight between his brothers for the throne. Arnulf and Robert backed the wrong man, lost everything and were forced to flee to Ireland in exile. Pembroke endured, however, the property of the new King Henry I and the best defensive site in the whole of Wales, in my opinion.